What's up guys? Johnny Walton here. Um today I'm going to be doing a uh step-by-step -step process on how to put a stomp pad on a beater board. Um I don't know. I don't know if you can see my beater. It's back there. I'll be sh showing that later, but I love my beater. I used it all summer and uh I don't know. I love um I saw on Catch Surf Instagram that they had some guys with some stomp pads on them, and I was like, hey, why not? Looks pretty sick. So, but then when I went like to look for a tutorial on it, there was none about uh, actually putting them on the beater boards. There was tons about skim boards and surf boards and whatnot, but uh, didn't have any for beater boards. So I thought, why not make one? So, for today's process, you're gonna need a stomp pad. Um, I got this one off of Amazon, some like 20 something bucks, uh, yeah, have one for my skin board and my surfboard, but this is just some weird brand I've never seen before, but yeah, some scissors, uh, I'll, and we're going to use these again, um, super glue or crazy glue, I use Gorilla Glue, just anything that's, anything that'll stick in the water, like I looked up good glue, um, uh, like waterproof, you know what I mean? So this is the kind of glue I got. Um, I haven't actually tested that yet, but I think it should work out well. And a, uh, a wax remover. Well, I guess you don't need a wax remover, but if you already have wax on your board, a wax remover. And if you don't have that, and there's wax on your board, maybe even scissors. Um, so yeah. One of the reasons I'm uh, making this video is because my brother also got a stomp pad to put on his beater board. And we went uh, surfing this weekend and he just stuck his on, just peeled it off and uh, peel, peeled it off and just, uh, just put it on his board. And five minutes in, all, of them, all, all three of these had fallen off his board. So I, I knew it wasn't right. So I did some research on it did, looked up some stuff and uh, this is what I found. Okay guys, so sorry about the change in scenery. Um, my room wasn't big enough for the, uh, for the old beater. So I had to uh, come out here in the TV room. So um, so what I did with my board this summer was I, I waxed it all up. Um, you can see the dark spots for my wetsuit and everything. Got the GoPro mount up here. Um, yeah, so. This is one of the hardest parts about um, using the uh, I mean, like getting, preparing the board because um, on a regular uh, surfboard, this thing right here, this would work like a charm. It's just a little thing, uh, a little like sharp edge so you can scrape up the wax with. But um, it's a little tougher on the beater board because it's it's foam, obviously. So. Um, yeah, it's you just gotta you really gotta grind in there, work it all the way along. And uh, I don't know, at some point it's kinda it's in there, because like it's in there with the foam. But uh, yeah, that's just it's up to you how far you wanna go with uh, preparing the uh, the board to have the mount on it. So for the for scraping it off. What I do is I line up where I want my thing to go. Just, this isn't official or anything, just to kind of see how far up I should go. So maybe if I make it like that or something. Yeah, so I'm, I'm there. I know this is my line and I'm not gonna go past this. So I'll scrape everything below that off. And if you don't have wax on your board, you can totally skip this step, but if you do, then I hope it's helpful. Okay, so for this next step, Forgot to mention, it will be handy to either have a pen or a pencil uh, for aligning the actual um, stomp pad on the th on the uh, beater. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna now I'm gonna figure out where I want my uh, how I want my stomp pad to be, whether I want it to be separated together, where on the board or whatever like that. So. One of the biggest things to worry about when finding to put on is you don't want it to interfere with your leash. So you definitely want to give the leash some space. So I'd start off with working like that. I'd think, 
that's a good amount of room to give the leash. So you can either put it like this, where it's all together, or you can space it out, take up more room, and uh, maybe it'll look a little different. I personally like the spaced out look a little bit more. Um, allows for more surface area, but in like more place, yeah, more surface area for your room to go. So I think that's what I'm gonna go with. So once you figure out with which formation you're gonna go with, and I'm doing the spread apart one, you're gonna wanna align it to make sure it's in the middle. Now this is where the pen come this is where the pen and the pencil come in. I'm gonna use the actually, I don't know. I might I'm actually gonna use the I'll start off with the pencil and if it's too light then I'll go with the pen. But so I'm gonna I'm gonna use I'm gonna use this. There's a little line, I don't know if it's on all boards. I would assume it is, but I don't know. I'm gonna use this line right here going right through the middle of this create a reference point. I'm just going to continue that line right up just so I can get a visual. Yeah. Pencil's not working. I'd go with pen. Light though. You don't want to go like... So I know that's where the middle is. Right there. I don't know if you can see that line. I know that's the middle. And then I'm going to get a ruler or a straight edge of any kind. Sorry about that. So yeah, I'm gonna get a ruler and I'm just gonna continue this line right up the center of the board. Make sure it's aligned, just give it a nice look. Looks good. So, there. Now I got a nice line going right up the middle so I know where it is. So, once I have that down, I'm gonna line it up. Actually, I'm just gonna make this line a little bit longer. There we go. So now I can, oh, no, it's still not long enough. Okay, there we go. So I'm gonna put this on here. Now I know right where the middle is. Should be coming right at the top, right in the middle right here, and right at the top right here. I'm gonna draw a line around it so I know exactly where to put it. So, bam. I know that's where the corners I need to put are. So, I'm gonna start off with putting this one down. So this next step is the part that I failed to do with my brother's board. Um, it fell off last time, and I think it's because the adhesive wasn't very great on this, so that's why I'm bringing in the super glue. And this glue stuff is pretty powerful because it said this drop will take up this. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it says right here that drop size will take up that much space. So I'm thinking if I only do a few drops across the board, it should be it should work out pretty well. So here's let's let's figure it out. So I'm peeling it off, and I think I'm going to go for like, even though it says less is more with this stuff, I might, I might just go big, you know? Awesome, I hope those drops are showing up on the camera. Um, so this is what it should look like with those little droplets. I don't know if that's going to show up, but I hope it does. So now I'm going to flip it over. I'm going to put it back. I'm going to line it up with the light past there. Push it down.
seems to be sticking pretty well. Next, I'm going to do it with, now I'm going to try it with the side flap. So now I'm going to be doing it with this side flap right here, this one. And uh, it's going to be like a lot like the process last time, where you're going to be uh, sketching, sketching out what you like. And uh, yeah. Although this time I'm going to get a little more um, mechanical with it, as for the numbers and whatnot. So I'm going to say I like this part to be, hold on, let me just look right now. I was looking before and I like it right here and right here. So that's how I like it. Right there. So it should be about one inch away the whole way down. That's what I want. So I'm going to take my pen and draw a little line right here. And I'm going to draw a little line right here. And I'm just going to draw that whole thing down. So then I know I know this is gonna go right here, like this, and I already made the line back here for around to go over here. So it's gonna go like that. Then I want it to be an inch this way. Inch this way. Cool, so now I have two equal lines, so I know this is gonna go right here. And go, go like this at that height. And this one's gonna go right here with that height. Okay, I know I said it the last two times, but this time I'm actually gonna put on the side flap. So I'm gonna start off by peeling off this thing. And I think my brother's stomp pad was a little iffy because this one definitely does a lot more look. This one definitely does look a lot stickier than his. So that's already a good sign. But the Gorilla Glue definitely can't hurt in this situation. Cool. So there are all the little dots again. Still don't know if you're going to be able to see these. Hope you do. I bet you'll be able to see it on the gray right here, but yeah. So then I'm going to line it back up with, with where I had it before. You got to be careful because glue runs. I'm going to line it up where it was before. Line it up with this line. Looking good here. Looking good here. I'm going to push down. And see these little cracks where the where you, where you screw in the fins. I got. I just hoping my fins don't snap. Uh, I I wouldn't be afraid to squirt a little extra glue under there just to keep it all together. Couldn't hurt. I'm gonna do it on both things actually. There we go. Yeah, like, why not, right? This one's looking pretty good as well. Looking pretty stuck down. Awesome. Now we're doing the next one. Um, so now I'm going to do the right uh, side panel. This one has the logo of the brand on it. I honestly have no idea what logo this was. Just looked up for a cool stomp pad on Amazon. 
those relatively the same colors. And um, yeah, so props to whoever um, brand this is. It looks like it's a nice stomp pad. Um, but yeah, and now I'm turning this off and about to put the glue on it. And my glue's looking a little empty, so happy I got the double pack. So definitely, definitely get the double pack if you're going to be doing this. So yeah, got it all lined up. Got the little droplets. Actually looks pretty cool. Doubt you're going to be able to see it. Although, now it's looking like you can on the gray. So then I go back here and I'll line it up with everything. Line it up with this side. Line it up with the back. Looks pretty good when they press down. Push down on everything. Okay, so. I'm gonna do that same thing where I scored it in the little thin holes. I don't know if that's good, but I don't think it can hurt. So why not? Uh, yeah, after that, shoot. There you go, that one looks like it's on. And like I mentioned earlier, because of this gap we left right here, um, putting the leash back on should be no problem at all. And uh, once the leash is fully attached, there should be a full range of motion without being restricted or having it possibly rip up any part of the stomp pad. Okay. Now that we've put on the stomp pad, put on the glue, sketched it out, it's all set to go. Right now, in these last few hours while the glue's still drying, is uh, it's important to put weight on it. So I have a few books right here. If you put it, put some. If you you need to keep weight on it, just like that. These books are pretty heavy. It should be good, and it might be tough finding something to put on these back tabs right here. Uh, but yeah, that's, um, that's, that's it. That's the key for, uh, to wait until the glue dries. Yeah, alright, thanks for watching, guys. Um, it's my first tutorial video I've done like this, and, uh, so I've just uploaded summer videos before if you want to go check those out, but, uh, I thought it could be useful. Um, I've always wanted to do one of these, so, love surfing, love all this tech and stuff, so, yeah. I'll do a few uh, shots now around the board and yeah. All right, cool, see you guys.